Hey guys, now today we are going to discussing about one more topic uh, like AWS easier integration with Jenkins. Now what we are going to do, we already discussed with this uh, freestyle job yesterday and now today we are going to discussing about the pipeline job okay through ECR repository. I want to push my data image to ECR repository. Okay? For this, let's we already created for the ECR credential site for uh, last class. Let's see here now. Um, go for Jenkins credentials here now. And the credentials, let me take this ID. ID. This is the credentials ID of my ECR repo. Okay, and the repository is uh, I just created a one repository here, right? My app. If you want to create, you can create create repository and create a repository like here now. Let's say node app something. Now create repository. Now take a node app repository. Okay, and copy this and paste it here. Okay, this is the repository name. This is the credentials, right? And the next, what we do? We need to be create a pipeline code. And go for our Jenkins server and you guys remember right like last class we see like as easier integration with this now for this we install the one plugin what is the plugin we install Amazon easier like as Amazon easier plugin we install and we are at the configuration of our credentials here okay here we are at for this Amazon credentials here that here all the credentials will come there's a different regions which reason we are going to be use this now okay if you want to add these credentials what we do we are already installed the plugin the plugin name is called Amazon ECR plugin that Amazon ECR plugin see here if you want to see this I'll show one more time add credentials here here we need to select for AWS credentials here. After installing AWS, like as Amazon ECR plugin, we'll get an option like this, AWS credentials. We can pass for this access ID and secret ID. We need to download from our AWS account. Where we can get it from this, we can get it from this one, okay? If you this AWS credentials, security credentials, you can go for here, you can download for your security is there. Right, we just see that even instead of directly downloading for root user credentials, even you can create a your own user, one user, we can get that credentials or else you can download from here. Okay. If you already created two credentials now, if you want to get deactivate now, but we can get the one more new. If you want to create a multiple. Right now we have the two actors now here. Okay. Now fine. The next what we do now. Go and read for the pipeline code. That's the reason. Well, that's, a, that's a way we done for the last class for this credentials at all. Just one time I'm repeated. Now that's credentials we added, and then we already created the ECI repository. Then what we do? We need to write a pipeline code now. Just new item. ECI pipeline. Okay. For this, create a job now. Pipeline job. Yesterday we discussed about the freestyle job. This is the stuff we done, and today we are going to discussing about the pipeline. Okay. Now the simple steps. Just whatever the previous classes we discussed, all the steps. Okay, it's a declarative pipeline. Now what are things we are going to add here? Simple. First, declarative pipeline agent any environment section. I'm going to put that. That versioning is that. What are the build number is come that I need a version number. This is a, my project name is the node app. Okay, this image is that it's an image like combination of your project name along with this build number. Okay, like as node app polar version. Now this repository is that we need to take this repository. This is what node app right. You can copy it here. Now go and paste here now. 
the event it is the best one done just you know this and add this now and the next here is that this credentials this credentials name i need to add it you know which region you want to be how created your ecr repository then you can see here we are created in the mumbai region that's the reason i'm going to add this be careful huh? this is ecr ap south one okay if you particular region you are created the particular repository you should be add for this particular region name here okay and here we added for credentials name right this aws credentials copy this this is your credentials we added there then the score you need to download from this just go for our github page yes this is we already discussed with the, all the pipeline code and all this is for example again one more pipeline code which we are going to use okay. on this job repost is here then go for login and permission now see this docker file this we are done with the main example on this i'm going to use the same code here right now yeah go for here okay the next this is the docker build the same script we used for previously like docker integration with the jenkins okay docker build method and with the registry this is for we click on this url and then credentials okay this two i'm going to pass it here now okay this is a url and credentials and the next i'm pushing this image to this repository then next what i do i'm in the post after this building and pushing the images then i'm going to remove that image into the my local system okay because of i need to clean up that old images like as if you have created multiple images here it's a waste of spaces that's the reason just apply save it just click build now button now check now now let's see here let's see the console output now So building image is done. Now Docker login. This AWS credentials is done. Now tagging is done. It's pushing the images. Now after pushing images, now we get a version here. What is the version will come? That number will come the images once it is successfully done. Okay. Now let it be done. Now that AWS CL, I think so I'll show that uh, next session. Okay. And because of I need to show something to you guys. Now it's done successfully. And even if you guys want to see here, it's previous job. And go for here and just refresh it here now. We'll get a don't build number of image here now. Okay. And now what we do if you guys want to build a multiple here you will get a multiple here like i say all um, images here like a second image that image fourth image and for example let's say you want to clean up this all the stuff we need to write a script or maybe lambda function or maybe anything we can remove the, all the images here now okay like this we need to write a script now. is this is that clear guys clear now this pipeline code any questions Fine.